In the previous video, we talked about the synthesis of fatty acids. Fatty acids required a series of enzymes which put together multiple repetitive steps to put together the long chain fatty acids. Well, then one of the more interesting things is this, this machinery for fatty acid synthesis has been modified to form another system which is called the polyketide synthase, synthase enzymes. These, polyketa, these polyketide synthase enzymes are used to make all kinds of crazy molecules. And here are some of the examples. They're used to make insect pheromones. Uh, they're used to make various aromatics. They're used to form these things we call macrolides and actually a bunch of other molecules as well. But these are the three groups we're going to discuss uh, this term. Uh, and with the, the aromatics are made by lots of plants and, 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 and other creatures. The macrolides are, tend to be made by a bacteria. And of course, the pheromones, uh, we're going to address particularly the pheromones used uh, uh, by insects. So how in the world does this work? Well, uh, this works by modifications of the fatty acid scheme. So let's just go quickly through the fatty acid uh, scheme. So in the fatty acid scheme, we bring together uh, a, st a starting material and an extender. Uh, and uh, the, in this particular case, the extender is simple malinate. And here, we're, we're, this is the second step of fatty acid synthesis. So we've already got a four carbon uh, uh, acid on our, on our primer here. And so we, we form an initial etylate. It attacks, forms a four coordinate inter intermediate in the, synth in the basic synthase step. Uh, then uh, there is a, a reduction a step of the ketone, the ketone reduction step. There's a dehydration of the alcohol. There is a uh, uh, there is a uh, alkene reduction uh, uh, to give uh, give the uh, pure hydrocarbon. You go around this loop uh, five more times, and in and in 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 the uh, 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 final step, there's a thioesterase which hydrolyzes that uh, uh, that thioester and releases the carboxylic acid. So those are the basic schemes. Now, what we want to do is see how uh, these silly red ants, actually it's bacteria in the gut of the red ants, uh, modify their scheme to make this uh, alarm pheromone. Now alarm pheromone is what the ants use to, you know, just to warn their friends about uh, danger. So if they get it, they get into trouble, they'll put out uh, uh, this pheromone and tell their friends to be on alert. So how, how does this work? Well, this is the, mo the molecule. And as you can see, it has functionality which doesn't, it doesn't exist in a fatty acid. First of all, it has these methyl groups. Well, these methyl groups are easy. Instead of using simple malonic acid uh, ester, you use methyl malonate. And uh, that'll bring along those methyl groups. Uh, and there's going to be three of those because there's a methyl here, there's a methyl here, and then this methyl out here at the end actually counts as well because this actually, as we'll see, also came from a methyl malonate. So uh, the, the, the end carbon over here is going to be the primer. So let's go through and see how this works. We're going to prime uh, with our normal uh, acetyl, uh, 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 acetyl group. Uh, and uh, here's, here's, here, here's our first extender. So we start off as before. We lose CO2. We form our enolate. Uh, we, we attack to form our tetrahedral intermediate, which then uh, uh, gives us this first ketone. And we go through the, all the initial steps somewhat normally. We reduce that ketone. Uh, we do the dehydration. We reduce the uh, double bond to the hydrocarbon. And so this is just kind of normal, except for that methyl group, which is because we meth use methylmalonate. Uh, then we, 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 simply, we simply continue. We're going to do our next step. Uh, and uh, we're going to go through and uh, do the synthesis. We're going, to, we're going to reduce the ketone. We're going to de 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 do the dehydration. But if you remember, we want that double bond on our product. So we're going to skip uh, the reduction step of the, of the, uh, of the ene. So uh, we're going to keep the, keep the, the alkene. So, uh, we've, so there we've changed things. So now we're going, we're going to simply now add a third group. Okay, And if you this third group over here, if you look, all it's going to do is going to give us that methyl right there. So uh, this attacks uh, in, 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 in the normal way. Okay, we get this guy, and now uh, what we have to do, uh, if you if you look over here now, we've got we've got our, our molecule, but we've got to get rid of, of 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 this piece on the right, and of course the way you do that is that you do the thioesterase, free up the carboxylate, and now you can do a decarboxylation, and this gives us our our final product after protonation. So 
that's kind of interesting. And uh, all the mach all the machinery is there in the fatty acid synthesis. We just skip some steps, and of course we use methylmalonate instead instead of the normal malonate. So these uh, bacteria are pretty clever. Uh, and uh, so overall, we had we we have a new we have this old primer, but we have three different extenders. Okay, uh, let's do uh, well. This last step I should match when you when you. When you do the reduction of these double bonds, okay, uh, in this very first step over here, of course the enzyme is it directs this, so it can give a single enantiomer. So that's how you get a chiral compound, because this is enzyme directed. Okay, so uh, let's let's look at another one. This one I just took from the literature. I went and 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 pulled one out. Here's here's a, here's a here's a new molecule. This one's also an insect pheromone, and uh, it's a little bit different because uh, it has a methyl group. Uh, and uh, indeed, uh, it uh, uh, is is going to use uh, two methylmalonates because this methyl group on the right hand side is also coming from a malonate. But the interesting thing is, um, it uses a different primer. So this one uses a propyl group here instead of an acetyl group on on the on the coenzyme A as the primer, and uh, it uses two methylmalonates. And look how they've written this out. This is showing you the primer after, after it's been transferred to the enzyme. So here's the primer. So the coenzyme A transfers it to the enzyme, gives you the primer step. Then they just say I. And what does I say down here? Proposed by synthetic group. They're adding a methylmalonate. They're, lose, they're, 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 lo they're losing uh, uh, CO2 uh, 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 to go here. But they're keeping the ketone, okay, so, the, the, so far. But then in N2, reduction dehydration reduction. That's reduce the ketone, uh, dehydrate, reduce the ene. So this is just telling you what chemistry took place between six and seven. Uh, step three, they add another methylmalonate, lose its CO2, uh, and, and go to this step. And now in this particular case though, they're not going to lose the carbonyl, they're going to keep it. So what do they do? They just thioester hydro hydrolysis, loss of CO2. So very similar to that previous one. Again, it's just a kind of a slightly different uh, uh, combination of events, and uh, 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 so it's, you can see that it's you know you can write out these schemes in this abbreviated form uh, uh, much quicker than you know drawing everything out, and so this is a good way to be able to do it. So the key steps are identifying the primer, identifying the extenders, and then for each of the steps in between, just you know write down the basic ideas of what reactions uh, need to occur. Okay, so let's work on a more complicated one. This one is uh, got lots of functionality in here. And if we look at this, we've got a bunch of double bonds. So it means we're not going to be reducing any double bonds. We have a methyl and we have an ethyl. So this is kind of interesting. So how would you, how would you go through and, and try to figure out uh, 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 this guy? Well, we, we, we simply, simply have to uh, do a first thing. First, we have to decide on our primer. And then we have to uh, figure out uh, what the uh, extenders uh, are going to be. And then we have to write out a biosynthetic pathway. So uh, here's our molecule. Now, how, how do you go about figuring these things out? Well, what I like to do is go back and imagine uh, what this molecule would have been if you had stopped at the uh, ketone stages for all of them. So uh, imagine... Uh, 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 why well, I'm sorry, a little bit ahead of myself. First, we've got to figure out what our what our uh, uh, what our basic uh, substrates are. So, what malonate extenders are we going to use? Well, if you look at this, we know that that's a methyl. We know that that's an ethyl. But is what's the the final group? And of course, the final group is well. Look at this here. This is look at the every every other every other carbon methyl, ethyl. It's another ethyl. So it is, it would have, it, it is, we have two ethyl groups. Now, now where I want to say, imagine doing this with, where, where you didn't reduce the carbonyls. This is what the molecule would have looked like. But where does this end piece over here come from? Where this end piece, uh, I just redrew it right here, okay. The last step would have been a decarboxylation. It always is. You have to get rid of the last, de the last carboxylic acid always on these things. So that's the molecule would have, you would have really, really made. And now when you draw it out this way, you can really see the methyl, the ethyl, and the ethyl. 
So what what I would do if you get a, get a get a, any kind of comp complicated molecule like this, just kind of go through and sketch out where you think the carbonyls would have been, put on an end CO2. This is what you're going to make, and now it's very easy to see uh, the fragments. And so this is the way I would start working out one of these problems to figure out uh, 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 how to put it together. Now writing out the whole scheme is going to be really complicated, and and uh, let's run through it fast. Um, uh, well, that's the de that's the decarboxylation step. So, um, but basically, uh, uh, do, would, would you would you actually have to uh, have, 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 have done on this scheme? Well, we're going to we need we need an acetyl coenzyme primer. We're going to use a methyl, and we're going to use the two ethyl uh, extenders. And uh, so this is what we would have had without reductions. But we have reductions, and so the molecule we're actually trying to make do not have these two carbonyls. They have double bonds there. And so uh, this this is uh, kind of our prelude to where we're going. And you can see now we can go from here to there because we could lose our CO2. But why do I still have that carbonyl there? That's really interesting because I want to lose the CO2. And we know that the CO2 loss is much easier if you have a beta carbonyl. So this carbonyl is going to be lost, but we're going to change the order. We're going to change the order. So let's go through and look at this. So we're, we're, we're doing our normal chemistry, uh, forming our enolate. Uh, this is going to attack, of course, and form, and we'll do our, we'll do our, first, our, our, our first synthesis step. We're going to reduce. We're going to uh, do the dehydration, uh, and then just basically go through that scheme uh, many more times to build this up and uh, while drawing all these out. Um, but now when we got this step, uh, we're going to free up. We're going to free up the acid. We're going to do. Uh, we're going to release re release the ester, and uh, the thioesterase uh, gives you after protonation gives you the carboxylic acid here, which of course which will which will decarboxylate and get this. But our final product doesn't have a carbonyl, so this is where we do things out of order. So now we use a Kr step in the wrong order. To, get, to make the alcohol and a dehydration step, and that's our final product. So uh, these things can get complicated, but it's just kind of working these things forward and backwards like you would in uh, your own synthesis, uh, just trying to figure out uh, 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 how it all works. Okay, so what I'd like you to do for a homework problem, and you'll see this below, is write out a biosynthetic pathway for this one. And uh, this this is actually it's not as hard as it as, as it might look at the first uh, first period. But what I want to do, I want you to do, is draw out a scheme like this one, where you do a, just a sketch of the synthesis showing uh, uh, the major major things. Um, and instead of saying enzyme, you can just say R on your on your on your drawing. Uh, so that you can write out a scheme like this, and then in the in the explanation box, you can write out your 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 the the, the fundamental step. So. Draw this in the in the in, in the Oscar box and uh, uh, write this out in the in the explanation. So uh, what you need to do is identify the primer and the extenders, then draw out a scheme like the one on the previous slide, and in the discussion box write out a scheme um, uh, like the one shown below, where you uh, simply say at each 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 step you can you can number them uh, 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 and then you just 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 write this out. So first thing you gotta do is figure out those ex those those uh, extenders. Obviously, there's a couple methyls there, uh, but what else is going on? So this should keep you busy. Uh, I know it's a little bit hard, but uh, have some fun with it. I'm not going to ask you anything this complicated on the exam, so uh, this is your chance for glory. Uh, do a good job now.